Hey guys, got something cool for you today. This is a Blitzwolf sensor, motion sensor LED. It's a whole powered light. Got it dark in here so you can really kind of get a Quite a bright little device. So a lot of surface mount LEDs in this thing. So uh, turn the lights on and let's have a look at what's inside. Okay, so with a bit of normal light around us, we can see what's going on here. I've already got the screws out of it. Kind of almost started the review backwards, but on top you got this little solar panel. Got all these LEDs on all different angles, and they're all very flatty shaped. They really spread the light out. Dome is the sensor dome. It actually picks you up really nicely in the dark. Okay, like this. Because I've taken the screws out already. Be careful of our solar panels wires up there. Oh. So the solar panel being put into the darkness is one of the things that activates the motion sensor. If it's not pulling any any solar power, it'll shut off pretty quick. As you can see, quite a bright, possibly pulse width. But luckily for us, so we can actually film something, it has an on off switch at the back. So it's rated at 2200 milliamp hours, 350 lumens, 0.65 watt solar panel, it reckons. This is the Blitzwolf OLT1 solar powered wall light. So something I really like with its design right off the bat. So you've got our LEDs spread out like this. It's really simple inside. Uh, if you're going to leave this outside, I would probably recommend a bit of silicon around some of the joints. But look at this. 18650 battery holder. And we love our 18650s on this channel. That's actually quite heavy. Dongyon Electronics Co. Limited 2200 milliamp hour Date code 191020 So 20th of October 2019 So that's not that long ago It's the uh, 1st of March 2020 at the moment So that's Quite a heavy cell but one thing is it feels heavier at one end. So I'll test that separately in another video. But what have we got here in this box? Well, in this box right here we have... Ooh. What do you reckon? Instant upgrade time? Let's grab ourselves a... I'll do the trick. Samsung 30Q. Because this one's my solar light, we might put that one in there, hey? So I'll make another video about sealing this up a bit better than what it is. It's probably okay, but I'm going to put this um, out the front in a walkway uh, where the missus' car is. So that when she goes to work, it'll turn on and Light the place up. So, these are actually really cheap. Like, $10 US kind of cheap, I think. I don't know if banggood.com sent me this one. But I will have a link where you can buy one. If you buy anything from Banggood, which, because of their like, referral program, I make a few dollars out of if you buy through the links in the video descriptions. But, um... It allows me to buy some of these Chinese toys that seem good. And uh, then we can test them and figure out if they're actually good. But yeah, I will confirm whether or not that's the quality that it says it is. Um, 
I put it in the walkway when we first got it and had it outside. I could walk past it numerous times, like continuously back and forth, up and down the driveway, unloading the van and stuff, and it come on and off continuously the whole time. So, like, yeah, it probably has a relatively good capacity. I don't like any of these button top ADN 650s. I've seen them full of sand and all kinds of things, so we will confirm with what kind of quality that is. But, um, yeah, it's got a simple on off. And it's very, very bright. I'm really happy with the amount of LEDs that are in there. Um, if the circuitry ever died, I'd be really inclined to just put a switch out the front of it and maybe chuck a few more 18650s in there. Which I might, that's actually a possibility. Hang on a sec. Okay, here we got a pair of 17670s. A 3800 milliamp has a two pack. The reason I kept these in two packs, they're out of laptop batteries. They're not actually an 18650. Yeah, a little bit smaller. But they will go in the same holder. And that's 800 milliamps better than that 30Q, which is a good so that we'll use for something more important. We'll push him in there. And we'll rebuild. Is it going to fit? No, maybe not. Maybe if we lay them that way a bit. No, not quite going to fit. Might have to mess around with that a little bit to make that happen, but yeah. Probably not a bad option. I know lots of people say things like, oh, how many dead 18650s are you going to use in a torch? But um, sometimes you just got to make smart use of these things. I'll put a random one in there for now. 2900, that'll do. And um, we'll put it out side and run it for a while. If there's anything to report or report back, let me just put this back together. So, in conclusion, good light. Um, sensor works well, seems to charge up well. Um, it's not going to be that big of a solar panel, less than one watt, but if it's only holding six or seven watt hours, I suppose, good day of sunshine. It's charge the battery every day and uh, it's on a sensor so it's not like it runs all night either so can't, can't complain about that there'll be a link in the description if you want one um, I might seal it up and show you uh, how to uh, mount it at some stage but yeah for now that's it There's a couple of good spots where you can scroll it to something thanks for watching catch you in the next video if you buy anything uh, through affiliate links. I appreciate it. You can find them in the video description for eBay and for um, So if you look click on the affiliate link for the eBay one, it'll take you through to a um, Random product normally a diesel heater, I think and uh, if you go from there To buy whatever you want to buy I then get a uh, small percentage of that which helps me buy bits and pieces like this because uh, Currently sponsorship from places like Banggood is uh, a bit quieter than it used to be so thanks for watching anyhow guys appreciate it catch you on the next video